Okay, everybody, welcome back to part 20 of SpongeBob Alpha Bikini Bottom Rehydrated to the PlayStation 4. When we last left off, we had made our way into the deeper recesses of the Mermelair, the third room where we traversed a bunch of disco floors and uh, got a golden spatula at the top. We talked to Gary, and we got a sock at the end of this conveyor belt stuff, and got zapped by these electrode things a lot. <laughs> That's an understatement. We got zapped plenty of times. But uh, yeah, now we're standing outside of this gate, and this is the fabled rolling ballroom that we're heading into next. And as I've said before, my PlayStation 2 version of the game, when I uploaded the rolling ballroom, got over 8,000 views, and now we're doing it again. Oh. Let's head on in to the infamous room of rolling a ball into a cup. Gotta talk to Mr. Krabs, as always. I love opening presents. Cha ching! Yeah, we just here. met the Spongeinator. Checkpoint. Hey, Mr. Krabs. Look, boy! There's gold under that glass! Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it! Well, if you think you're gonna get that even for a second, you're wrong, Mr. Krabs. That shiny object is mine. I need it to get into the chum bucket. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. Seems easy enough, but it's a lot harder than it looks. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. Is it now? In order for the ball to reach the end, you'll have to move the pieces of machinery along the track. That's right. Hey, where'd you get back? Get out of here. Now, there, before we do anything, as before when I did this on the PlayStation 2, what you want to do before you start is you want to clear out everything. Wait, wasn't there a 50 shiny object? Oh man, I thought there was a 50 shiny object somewhere. But yeah, I want to clear everything out because there's some stuff that gets in the way. I don't want anything getting in the way when I do this. So first, let's go up. No, oh, first let's press this button. This is the last of the four buttons that we need to press in order to press the master shutdown button. There we go. Four out of four. Now there's two duplicatotrons in this area. Actually, no, I think there's only one. There's one. Oh, wait, no, there's two. I can't get the one up there because I don't have the cruise bubble. And there's actually another one, like, down here somewhere. It's where this stupid guy keeps coming from. But you can't actually see it or get it. Stop coming out. If I had the cruise bubble... Then I could do that. Nice. Oh no, shiny Fresh object. Like a spring breeze. Get these out of the way. That's kind of a bummer that we don't have the cruise bubble, because that robot's gonna spawn back. No! Don't hit me. I wanna get the sock first so I don't forget it. 
Let's see if I can get it without dying this time. I think in the PlayStation 2 version, when I went to jump for it, I missed the platform. Or I missed the tiki. Another fine for Patrick! Whew, that was a close one. I'm just floating on air. Here's a shiny object over here. Here's that. That's the last button you gotta press. So I think before we do this, we should explain how this works. Because in the PlayStation 2 version, I did it a little quickly. So I'm, and I'm not, I don't remember if I explained it. So first, as always, you gotta hit this button right up here. That'll send the ball down from up. Oh, there's the shiny object. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, SpongeBob, get up there. Okay, we'll get up here this way. Aha! Yes. Got it. Okay. So that'll get the ball rolling from up in that tube. It'll come down. It'll roll around the track. You'll need to use the bubble bowl move to move this thing. It does. I think you gotta hit it on this spoke right here. That'll move the track to get the ball to roll further. Then you gotta run over here and hit this thing with your bubble wand to get it to go in the little spoon. It'll roll up there. Then you gotta wait a while because it's gonna roll around for like 30 seconds. You gotta stand on this button, hit that button right over there. <sighs> then you'll come up here. You'll have a few seconds because it'll be stopped by that thing. You gotta come over here, press this button to make it go across there, otherwise it'll fall down. Let me come over here. Get that guy out of the way. Hit this button to raise that mallet so it doesn't knock the ball out of the way. Then you gotta sprint real fast over here because you gotta basically get from one side of this platform to the other because it can go in that hole or it can roll off the side. You gotta make it go in there and then it'll you'll have a few seconds it'll turn on the fan and you gotta hit this button before it uh reaches the bottom because if it reaches the bottom it's just gonna roll out because you want it to spring back up into that other side of the uh scale so that it tips the scale and we can get the spatula <sighs> it's a lot of stuff that you gotta do I think when I did this on the PlayStation 2, I did it on my first try. I don't think that's going to happen this time, but we'll see. Oh, let's do this. Let's see if this video can beat the last time I tried this. 8,000 views is a lot to beat, but we'll see. Roll it on up there. Okay. I hit. Oh, hold on. There we go. We may have to hit it again. No, we're good. Get in there. All right. We're to the first checkpoint. Scoop successful. That's good. Okay. Now, remember, when you see the ball rolling around, you can press it. It's got to go around there. Make sure you wait for it. And you should be good now. Whoops. Now Somehow run I past don't think the robot. A hand. Okay. Just get over to this button. We're doing good so far. Make sure it goes all the way across. Hit this robot out of the way. And then you gotta be quick, because you gotta raise the hammer. And get on this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. oh. Aww. Yeah, we failed. See, I didn't do it on my first try that time. Damn. <sighs> Take two. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. All right, so the Smells lip like is there. Make sure you're victory. staying on top of this, or else you'll hit the lip. Okay. Over 
here. Hit that. Okay. Obviously, as you can see, that part at the end is the hardest part. Because of all the holes in the thing. But, uh, we should be successful this time, I hope. Remember, wait for it to come back. It's got to loop around. And make sure you're standing on the edge of the button so you have time to roll forward. Oh, we missed again. Oh, we missed again. Oh, damn. Hold on. See, that time I hit the button, but it didn't register me hitting the button. Because the bubble ball rolls so slowly in this game. It rolled a lot quicker in the PlayStation 2 version. Rollorama! Sure, it goes across all the way. Gotta make sure it accesses this thing. I don't know why it didn't do it. I know I made this look way easier in the PlayStation 2 version, but it is difficult. Like I said in my other two parts, it's more difficult than it looks. Even a, a veteran person like me can get it wrong. Come on, bro. There we go. Oops. I'll just go right past him. No don't have time to hit him. Take that! It sucks that it forces you to use the bubble bowl. Let it hit the side wall. Then you want it to go. Oh, 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 oh. Get in there. There we go. Alright, got a few seconds to get this button. Got it. Third time's a charm. And we got a trophy. Bronze trophy. Keep it rolling for, di for uh, completing the rolling ballroom. Alright, so that was a little more difficult than it needed to be, but you get the basic idea. It'll take a few tries, because you gotta get the timing down. You gotta do things at a certain time. I feel like a new sponge! Because if you don't, like, this platform may uh, go back before the ball gets there, or that thing might go back up before... The spoon may go back up before the ball goes in. And like you saw, you might miss the button like I did t three times. Or you'll get to that last section and the ball will go through the hole like it did for me. But once you get it past that hole, I mean, all you gotta do is hit the fan and you're done. So, pretty easy. We'll see if this video can get more views than my PlayStation 2 version. I don't know. A lot of people seem to like that part and they always are saying that it just they see me do it and they're like I can't repeat that but I, I have full faith in you guys I know you guys can do it just have patience there you go Spongebob 35 golden spatulas hey Mr. Krabs I took your golden spatula what are you gonna do about it mine. I know you wanted that gold, but you can't have it. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you promotion. What kind of promotion? You can't just say, you know, an extra 15 seconds added to my break. That's not a promotion. That's just giving a longer break. A promotion would be promoting him to, like, assistant manager of the Krusty Krab. 
a monetary boost to his yearly salary and make him yearly salary instead of hourly pay. That's a promotion. A promotion? Sure! You'll get a whole extra 10 seconds added to your break time. That's not a promotion. That's just an extra break. Ooh! 20 second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. That's right, SpongeBob. You need every golden spatula you can get because in order to get into the chum bucket, we need 75 golden spatulas. And right now we have 35, so we still need 40 more. So you can't have this, Mr. Krabs. It's mine. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Whoa! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Only SpongeBob would think that a negative 20 second break was a good thing because he doesn't like taking breaks because he loves working. <laughs> he loves his job more than he loves his best friend Patrick. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Ahoy there, Mr. Krabs. Were you, did you want that that golden spatula? Well, too bad, you can't have it. I'll be back for you, Duplicatotron. Don't think that you're safe up there. When I get the cruise bubble, I'm coming back for you. <sighs> Let that be a warning. What I did to that robot. Well. We pressed all the master shutdown buttons. We finished the rolling ballroom, the infamous rolling ballroom. It took me three times, or three tries this time instead of on my first try, but you know, live and learn. Can't always do it on your first try. But uh, yeah, now we can go back to the Mermelair main chamber to talk to the Mermelair computer and press the master shutdown button. Mermelair computer. Hello. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Will do. Mermelair computer. 36 golden spatulas. We are well on our way to a completed game. You suck. Pub Bluey. Oh, yes, we activated the bridge. Actually, before we, uh,. Go into that next area. There's something I want to do first. Fresh like a spring breeze. I want to go talk to Squidward as Patrick. Ah. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Time to summon the Starfish of Justice. I am Starfish Man. It's funny, because Starfish Man is actually from a different Spongebob video game called Spongebob Creature from the Krusty Krab. And I will most definitely be doing a playthrough of that game eventually. I'm not sure when, but eventually. That's much better. Speaking of playthroughs, I gotta figure out what now, game... how to get some bath salts. I already asked that. Speaking of playthroughs, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna play after this. I know that's kind of weird to bring that up, because I'm only, you know, I'm less than halfway through this game. But I will eventually finish this game in probably a week and a half or two weeks. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna move on to. I haven't given it much thought at the moment, because I'm not really sure. But, uh... <laughs> but I was thinking maybe... 
another PlayStation 4 game perhaps. Because until I get a capture card, I can't really upload decent footage of any PlayStation 2 games. I know I did Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights and SpongeBob and Bikini Bottom on PlayStation 2, but the quality was just really bad. It wasn't like this, where it's like 1080p really crisp. So, I don't know. If I get a capture card, then yeah, I'll start uploading more PlayStation 2, and I have some Wii games like SpongeBob Truth or Square that I definitely want to do. But in the meantime, I have to stick to PS4 stuff, because I can use the capture gallery to do that. But we'll figure that out once we get close to the end of this game. I did find out that a new Crash Bandicoot game is coming out in October of this year called Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time, and I do own the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for PS4, so I think closer to when that game comes out, I might play those games. Until then, we'll have to figure something else out, but let's go see if we can go... Talk to Squidward. This one goes boom. Ouch. Hmm. How we? How we get over there? Gotta figure out how to get over there. I've done this before. See, I wish the platform was over here. Wait a minute. There's a box. Oh, but the box is at the top. And Patrick can't get up there. Dang it. I'm gonna get up there. Ooh, Patrick, up you go. and I are gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure out how to get to Squidward. Okay, so where is he? He's... He's over here somewhere. Yeah, he's over there. What if I can get onto this other slide? Oh, I can drop down here. Yeah, let's just drop down here. Aha! This could be a way to get over there. Yes! Haha! Hey, Squidward. How's it hanging? Hey, Squidward. Go away, Patrick. I'm waiting for SpongeBob. I can't believe I just said that. That is the same thing you told me when I saw you in Jellyfish Fields. Don't you have anything else you can say to me, Squidward? I came all the way over here, and that's all you can say! Damn it! Let's see where this goes. Then we can end this part. Activate Patrick Peter Totter. Wee! Oh wow! Nice. Patrick can get up here. What? I, can I talk to the Mermaid computer? No, it won't let me. Patrick can't talk to you. Patrick needs love too. Damn it. Well, that's a bummer. I wonder if Patrick can face off against Prawn. Let's see, can I read this? Press the master shutdown button, button to lower the bridges to the villain containment system, the VCS area. Okay, well, that'll be the next part. So this is a pretty successful part. We completed the infamous rolling ballroom. Got a golden spatula for that. Got another golden spatula for shutting down the uh, security system. And that activated this bridge. And we can take this bridge to the villain containment system where we will battle our next mini boss fight, Prawn. So tune in next time for that. In the meantime, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below with why you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos daily, including, you know, more parts to this playthrough. And click that notification bell so you're the first to be notified of my uploads. And Patrick will see you in the next part once he picks up his pants. <laughs>
But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.